government of the kingdom clarify through its continuous consultation with the US administration that all economic analyses indicate that postponing the OPEC plus decision for a month, according to what has been suggested, would have had negative economic consequences. This is a pretty big revelation. They're letting a pretty big cat out of the bag, that it seems that the priority of U.S. leaders when it came to asking OPEC to move ahead with their decisions, uh, they asked to delay it for one month because they were concerned about U.S. election results. It, clear, it appears that the November 8th midterm elections that are set to take place here in the United States, in which a new Congress will be elected, members of the House of Representatives, members of the U.S. Senate, will be elected or re-elected. Uh, and that seems to be what the issue was. Now, the Democrats are furious with Saudi Arabia. There's been all this talk of calling the 70-year relationship between the USA and Saudi Arabia into question. Here's some of what Democratic Party leaders have said in light of the Saudis refusing to play ball with the United States. There's going to be some consequences for what they've done with Russia. Suspend all arms sales. Is that something you'd consider? I'm not going to get into what I'd consider and what I have in mind, but there will be, there will be consequences. I do see it as a deliberately hostile act, and, and wh why would we have troops defending a country that, that behaves this way towards us? For years, we have looked the other way as Saudi Arabia For has decades. chopped up journalists, yeah. has engaged in massive political repression for one reason. We wanted to know that when the chips were down, when there was a global crisis, that the Saudis would choose us instead of Russia. Well, they didn't. The USA continues to supply Saudi Arabia with weapons. There's the ongoing war in Yemen. And uh, there's some Democrats that now feel like they want, to, uh, they want to cut off the supply of weapons. They want all U.S. troops that are in strategic areas supporting Saudi Arabia to be removed. And there's the NOPEC bill. This is a law that would enable people and entities in the United States to file lawsuits and take uh, countries to court for violating and, and manipulating the oil prices, its negative effect in the United States. This is quite dramatic. Now, the Saudi foreign minister expects this will all blow over after the big elections are over. Unfortunately, when you're in the election season, what some people call the funny season, a lot of things are said and a lot of things are done that maybe may not make sense at another period of time. And I hope that this is what we're dealing with here. It appears that the Democratic Party leadership was concerned about how gas prices may affect the election. And they wanted the Saudis to put off their decision to cut oil production until after the elections because of how it would affect the gas prices. They don't seem to be concerned about the fact that uh, Americans are paying 3 to $6 per gallon of gas, uh, that families are being squeezed. They're not concerned about European allies of the United States freezing in the winter. They're concerned that all of these economic consequences, uh, that they could affect the election results. They could change how people go ahead to vote. A real amount of cynicism revealed on the part of U.S. leaders. Uh, they essentially wanted Saudi Arabia to play ball with them and make decisions that would have political benefit for them in the short term when it came to how Americans vote on November 8th.